Hey guys, welcome to a November update alongside my Black Friday haul. Now, the November update will be the first three things, because I only bought three things in the month of November, but everything else was bought on Black Friday. And I'm really happy with what I got. It just arrived today, um, so I, I don't know why Amazon's doing this now, but Amazon Prime used to be uh, two-day shipping with UPS, and now it's two-day shipping with the United States Postal Service. So it actually gets here slower and sometimes a day late. I did have a package arrive one day late. And, and you know, what's the point of having Prime if they're just going to ship a regular mail? It makes no sense to me. But besides the point, really happy with most of the things I got. So first three things are the things I bought in November, which is the update. I traded my brother Clash of Titans Blade Digibook because I didn't really care for the movie for Nausicaa, the Disney anime type thing. Um, I watched this yesterday with Andrew. This is just blurry DVD, and it's a strange anime, well, anime, almost all anime is a little bit strange, but uh, it looks really good on Blu-ray. I will say that the story is a, a little bit hard to follow, um, and nonsensical to say the least, but um, most of the voice acting was pretty good. Uh, as always, Patrick Stewart is really melodramatic. Um, overall, I did enjoy it. This is a pretty expensive Blu-ray. He actually found it on clearance at Target for like seven dollars which is just super odd because Target would never carry this no I actually don't know of any store other than FYE that carries these Disney anime type things overall I enjoyed the movie um, if you're into anime definitely check it out uh, animation was very good um, the blu-ray quality looked really good uh, the voice acting was sketchy uh, I don't really care for Shia LaBeouf as a voice actor or an actor so he was in this, and it kind of, he just, he just isn't that good. Um, so Nausicaa, pretty good movie. Uh, check it out if you can find it cheap. I, basically I paid $4 for it because I traded my brother that Clash Titans Digibook that I got for $4. So good deal on that. Next up is a Kino Classic, which I fa later found out is uh, relatively rare. And uh, it's Stanley Kubrick's first film, Fear and Desire. Now you can see, I actually did buy this using it. This little cover does have a little bit of damage. But, uh, you know, I don't know of anyone in Indiana that would, you know, have this Kino Classic. Uh, so it's it's really rare to find a, 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 an old movie. Because most people, you know, most regular moviegoers are buying Battleship and, and Transformers and stuff like that. They don't specifically go out and buy this. Someone specifically went out and bought this. They knew that what they were getting, and then they traded it in, you know. So, hope, I'm, I'm just happy to have the slipcover, even with a little bit of damage. So, uh, this is Stanley Kubrick's first film about an unnamed war and an unnamed forest. And it's just a little creepy and disturbing. Blu-ray looks really good. Sound quality is really good. This was made in 1953. So, it is his first movie. Um, and it's only about an hour long, and it's just so in that it's it, it makes you think about it, it's just really creepy, and I, I I I don't know if I'll ever watch it again because of it. Stanley Kubrick is a fantastic filmmaker, but you know it's going to take a few watches to fully understand it. There's a, a lot of close-up scenes on faces that really creeped me out, and, it, and uh, like stabbing scenes where they were killing people and. They had a guy standing over the camera, like, stabbing at it, and it would, like, right when the knock knife would get close to the camera, it would switch to their guy going, like, ah, uh, you know, it was just, it was, it was, it was creepy, and I, I don't know if I liked it, uh, but overall, I, 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 the movie was good, and it was just really creepy, so, I, I don't know whether or not I can recommend this to anyone, but if you're interested in it, check it out, um, I just don't know what to think of it right now. Um, I'm going to have to look into some of the meanings. You know, whenever you watch a Stanley Kubrick movie the first time, you never understand any of it, and I, I, that's the way I feel about it. So, Fear and Desire, Kino Classic, pretty rare. I got it for $12.99 uh, at a used shop, disc replay. Uh, next up is the last one I picked up just um, in the month of November that wasn't a Black Friday buy. Um, and that is Man of Steel, the Blu-ray Digibook. Did a full overview of this, so go over to my page, channel page, and look for that. 
Um, I really, really enjoyed Man of Steel. It looks fantastic on Blu-ray. The Digibook's really cool. Definitely check out the unboxing if you want to see more of it. I really enjoyed this movie. I think Michael Shannon uh, did a fa fantastic job as General Zod. Um, I don't understand why people had such a big problem with Man of Steel. I thought it was a very well made and good movie. The soundtrack was great. Visual style was great. Um, it wasn't hokey and corny. Superman didn't have just random powers just to fit the situation like in, in the Christopher Reeve movies. Like he, Superman had a set amount of power. He didn't fly around the earth and turn time back. Or I really don't like the Christopher Reeve movies, but besides the point, I thought this one was much more coherent and less hokey and corny. It was a much more serious movie, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a fantastic movie, and, and possibly, if not my favorite um, movie of the year so far, tied with Pacific Rim. And I know a lot of people have problems with Pacific Rim, too. So, uh, you know, I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great movie. So next up is a really good deal that I got yesterday, which was Sunday, the Sunday after Black Friday, and uh, we went to Disc Replay, and I found the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition Trilogy for $20, and uh, this was a Black Friday sale at Disc Replay. It was having, I don't know, I'm not sure if it was on sale, but it was marked 20 bucks, and there was a sticker under it that said 40 so i uh, really happy to have this. I love Lord of the Rings. And i actually been watching them, and it's almost like watching different movies. A lot of the dialogue is, is different, different tones, and it's, it's almost like watching different movies, really. Uh, so, Fellowship of the Rings Extended Edition, uh, Two Towers, coming in black snazzy Blu-ray cases, which I really like. I like it when special editions have different colored Blu-ray cases, like, uh, say, Evil Dead. They probably should have put that in a red Blu-ray case. Or the, um... Incredible Hulk came in a green Blu-ray case. I thought that was cool. I like it when they put different colored Blu-ray cases for special editions. But for 20 bucks, I'm really happy to have this. It's in fantastic shape. Um, you know, who, who can ever say that they found the extended edition of Lord of the Rings trilogy for $20? I am just, I'm really happy to have this because I love Lord of the Rings. And this has just tons of special features. Although the special features are on DVD, the only Blu-ray discs in here are the movies. So, a little bit disappointed on that front, but I'm really happy to have that. Next up is the Black Friday deals. Now, the next couple were like $4 a piece. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at them. I have seen a few of these, but not all of them. So, I haven't seen this one, which is Robots. This was $4. Heard a lot of good things about it. Blu-ray is supposed to look good. So, for $4, I thought, what the hell? Uh, next up is Kick-Ass, which I haven't seen in a really long time. This was $4 as well. Me and Rich and Justin went to the theater and saw this when it first came out, I think 2009 or 10, and that was the last time I saw it, and I didn't quite know what to think of it back then, so I decided for $4, why not buy it? Uh, next up is Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 1, which is the last Harry Potter I needed, so I, and I now have all of them. Um, I was hoping this would come with a slip cover, but oh well. So for $4, I have now completed Harry Potter. Uh, next up, people are going to laugh at me for this one. Uh, Wrath of the Titans, I kind of liked, okay, so I didn't like the old Clash of Titans because I traded my brother the Digibook, but I kind of liked the Clash of Titans remake with Sam Worthington, so make fun of me all you want, but I just thought it was, it's a visual feast for, you know, it's not really about the storytelling or anything like that, but uh, I, I liked it, so for $4, Wrath of the Titans, which is the sequel, I thought the sequel was pretty good. So four dollars. Uh, visually, it's a, it's a visual movie. It's not really. You're, I don't know. I'm trying to justify my. Buy. Shut up! I, I bought. We're at the times. Uh, next up is I bought this for, Rich's Bur or Rich's Christmas gift. It got him Evil Dead, for seven ninety nine. Didn't come with a slipcover, Rich. So if you see this, I'm not sending it back just for a slipcover. But uh, Merry Christmas for you. And the last one I got was the reissue of The Terminator. This is the newly remastered one. I actually do own the old one that came with like a, a lenticular cover, so I'm going to put the lenticular slip cover over this one. Uh, this is supposed to look substantially better than the old issue. So uh, for $4, I figured why not just get it and get the good one. I actually like that cover a lot more than the other one. 
Uh, and the last two things, I got these on a lightning deal for $20 a piece. Uh, Game of Thrones Season 1, which I haven't watched any of these, and they're in really good shape. I'm glad they're in good shape. Because th these are the kind of things I want to be in good shape. This one has a little nick in the corner, but not enough to send, make me send it back. And I got Game of Thrones Season 2. So for $20 a piece, that's a really good deal because those are going usually going for $40, $50, $60 a piece. So I'm, I'm happy I got those. Uh, a little bit disappointing that the first season was only, only like eight episodes. I got the hiccups. So I'm going to be watching the hell out of this show. Heard so many good things about uh, Game of Thrones. Really interested in it. I'm not sure if... I, I'm pretty sure Game of Thrones Season 1 is only like eight or nine episodes, but I'm not sure how many episodes season two is so looking forward to watching that hope everyone had a really nice thanksgiving and a productive uh, black friday i got all of my black friday stuff on amazon didn't have to go out and fumble with the crowds really recommend going on amazon blu-ray.com cyber monday deals are up so you can use blu-ray.com for that uh let me know what you guys got if you got any good deals on black friday i know i got a couple really good deals uh, game of thrones and all those four dollar blu-rays so thanks for watching, guys. See you later.